Hey, it's Alosha and today I'd like to just share with you about the self-regenerative diet that I have learned recently in, on my trip to Russia. I've just actually lost a dear friend and this wasn't some unhealthy fellow. Uh, it was actually a really good friend that um, was quite organic and doing amazing things with um, earthworms and you know so and she wasn't of old age and in her early 50s so this is affecting all of us this is affecting some of the most amazing and organic living people on the planet and I want to figure out what is it it's, it's so she died of cancer and um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you this diet that I believe is the crux of avoiding 3,000 diseases that are currently present in our society and a lot of these diseases actually appeared in the last you know 20-30 years um, if you haven't watched my webinar on geopathic stress which is a number one um, well there's actually I'd say let's say three main things that cause cancer according to my research and one of them is the geopathic stress and I've got a whole webinar uh, on the house for free uh, recorded as part of my eco home uh, webinar series so it's on my website www.bioveda.ru have a look at it subscribe to the eco home webinar and one of the webinars uh, is on geopathic stress and you'll understand but that by moving your bed literally half a meter left or right you could avoid uh, 70 to 80 percent of all cancers that could affect you um, so there's these underground energetic the underground energies that are coming out uh, excuse me and um, they uh, they cause um, our immune system to go down but there's a whole webinar on that but today what I really want to share with you is this this diet it's uh, mr alfe <laughs> uh it's called alfe diet and it hints um alfe is um uh, a surname of um this guy that i have met i'll be sharing a, a book with you but it's in russian so i don't know if it's available in english yet um i'll also post a website it's alfe club um however just what are just want to give you the crux of it so first of all we need to start with the sleeping pattern the sleeping pattern is um, if you go into sleep between eight and nine and you wake up at four you get about 16 hours of biological sleep only taking you know eight hours of your lifetime per uh, of your 24 hour day uh, however if you go to sleep um, from uh, 10 at night or 11 at night and um, until 7 in the morning you still take 8 hours of your day however you only get 9 hours of biological sleep so uh, the message to take home here is in both instances you take 8 hours of 24 so you take a third of your life but the one gives you literally double the amount of sleep and the other one gives you half the amount of sleep um, but it both take a third of your life so for every hour you go to uh, for every hour um, between uh, eight and nine you get if you fall asleep between eight and nine you get about I believe it is seven hours of biological sleep in one hour however if you're sleeping at six o'clock in the morning if you're going to sleep at six o'clock in the morning you're only getting 15 minutes and at seven you only get one minute of biological sleep per every hour so this is actually pointless sleeping after four o'clock because after four o'clock you're getting 15 minutes from four to five or 30 minutes from four to five then it's 15 minutes from five to six and then at six to seven literally get one minute of sleep so you're not sleeping you're not resting at all so the message to take home here is go to sleep between eight and nine i did it last night and actually woke up by myself before my alarm clock 
uh, which I set at uh, 4.30. I woke up at 3.45, had loads of energy, did a whole swim and um, yoga session and yeah, I had quite a nice morning and had actually quite a lot accomplished. I did my planning and uh, for the day. So that could be extra hours that are absolutely quiet that you can meditate, do yoga, do all the things that you actually, for your body, in the quiet of time, recharging in that beautiful light uh, because of the spectra of color from the sunlight is just before the sunrise is extremely beautiful and it's very potent for us and if you can combine it with a few breathing exercises the the lung activity is pushing um, double to triple rate so what the, the breathing that you're going to do in the morning in that time actually can recharge you for the whole day and um, the other thing that the reason that we need to wake up at about four you know by five o'clock we need to get vertical so our kidneys wake up and our kidneys if we carry on sleeping after five we actually have little sand granules and stones that are settled in our kidneys and um, we need to get vertical and that's why we get lower back pains a lot of ladies get this lower back pains and they're going to therapists and massage people and just not going away it's because we're sleeping after five so 4 30 is an optimal time to get up in bed sleeping 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 by nine o'clock you're sleeping so wake up uh, and go read a book at 8 30 uh, get yourself settled down preferably no wi-fi or a computer work at least an hour before that i know it's challenging for some of us but you know that's where we're heading so that's in terms of the sleep it's very important to understand that and the diet the diet is simple so and i, I never got it because when people told me no salt and it's like yeah whatever you know i loved my salt and salt can serve preserves things so our grannies can uh, we're able to still able to make uh, tomatoes that last two years salted in a jar without any microbes sterilized jar um so that's the first thing so no salt no sugar lots of honey lots of honey between 100 to 300 grams of honey honey helps us to digest and just make everything in our tummy work really well uh, so lots of raw honey make sure it's a raw 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 unheated untreated organic raw honey uh, between 100 to 300 grams of honey um yes it's the diet is basically raw vegan with good quality fish and when I heard that I was like yes that works for me because I tried to go vegan I tried to go vegetarian and it drives me mad three months later I'm running for the first steak because I'm like craving whatever I'm not getting from the uh, from the meat so raw vegan with fish 80% raw lots of uh, so green juice every day um, lots of fruits lots of nuts in the morning and like lunchtime you have your good quality fish uh, fatty fish nice fatty good quality fish try and find some uh, trout tilapia if you can get Norwegian salmon if you got the bucks for it uh, or manifest the bucks for it but find some good quality fish no sugar no salt lots of honey lots of raw um, I'm still in a transition stage I made myself a little cake with um, eggs and you know I, I, don't, I don't use any wheat flour but you know that's going to be diminishing slowly I do find that if I have like my occasional pancakes I used to love pancakes almost every day now I'm having them once a week or so I, I just don't feel nice afterwards that's that's the honest truth just don't feel nice get a bit of a heartburn I crash in energy um, love the taste you know don't get me wrong um, no bread okay so no bread cut out the bread lots of nuts you can get little seed crackers um, preferably not fried not cooked anything heated just know that it's cancerogenic I'm gonna repeat it three times anything you heat over 42 degrees is cancerogen cancerogenic it turns cancerous in your body they've done an experiment with rats where they fed them cooked food and they fed them raw food the rats that ate cooked food pegged within a week 
to open them up and it's just pus pus everywhere the guts went fraught everything went fraught we're literally talking gangrene so anything that we eat cooked so soups out everything out no heating of food above 42 degrees as i said i'm not an angel i'm still talking to myself just had a lovely little cake which probably went up to about two three hundred degrees but i can immediately feel a bit of a heartburn coming up and you'll feel it more and more as you clear yourself up but um you know we're trying to get to 80 percent raw with uh, cooked fish you obviously cook your fish but you can cook your fish in lemon juice and vinegar as well where you'll have raw fish but it's actually cooked it's actually changes color my dad used to prepare fish it's a russian a korean type of sushi where they don't actually cook the fish on heat they cook it in a vinegar um, and lemon juice so but i'm still cooking my fish on a on a pan but it's a very low heat but the ideal is in future to get to lemon cooked fish or vinegar cooked fish where it's actually no heating of food above 42 degrees it turns cancerogenic in our bodies i uh, want you to try this diet i know a lot of you're gonna say how can you live without bread how can you live without salt how can you live without sugar it's all nonsense it's 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 old wives tales it's diets that that other people made up and they said um you know that's the way to do it no dairy no dairy no dairy in, in any form no yogurt no dairy in, in any form whatsoever we're not meant to be having dairy at all uh, we're not little calves we're not we after we've grown up we're really not meant to be having dairy if you are having living on a farm and you got your own cow and it's working for you fine but i after i'm testing this diet out and i'm feeling great so the author uh, which i'll post claims that you uh, you will get a brand new body brand new body this is why we're doing it you get a brand new body in three months depends on how you how you polluted your body it might take up to two years but you will get a brand new body uh, within a short few months um, you get a new heart in nature we don't replace things we get new things so uh, i mean we, we replace things we don't fix things so we just get new things so you'll get a new heart you'll get a new lungs you'll get new kidneys every single cell of your body will replace and regenerate so this is a self regenerative diet and sleeping pattern so again not too much tea because i used to can like three cups of tea before i go to sleep um, and you know it dilutes the fire of digestion and final piece very important no eating after three no eating after three okay our digestive system shuts down and anything we put after three literally goes fraught in our stomach there are other things you can do to uh, accelerate the healing process such as castor oil make sure you don't get castor oil from the pharmacy because they put glycerin in it and um, you know castor oil uh, there's proportions i believe it's one and a half grams of castor oil with one and a half grams of lemon juice for every kilogram of weight and you mix the two together and um, you have it before also three o'clock you don't eat uh, you have a juice that day and you just have a castor oil but i'll be doing um, you know more videos on this but uh, the, the website is translated in english i'll be posting it so there is a castor oil which does the large intestine the small intestine the, the castor oil cleans out the small intestine nothing else cleans the small intestine as well as that does but before you do that you have to clean the large intestine and the large intestine there is a special tea that he's got alfa tea uh, with some special herbs i believe wormwood from south africa and atmesia afro atmesia absinthums they all do very similar tricks of gently cleaning out the the, the large intestine once your large intestine is cleaned out then you do the castor oil which does the small intestine and then you start feeling like quite well you align the cleansers with the moon uh, you do the fast on the new moon and full moon you do like a, a two-day fast if possible 48 fast where you just don't eat just have water um, and uh, 
I'll be posting a lot more information on this, but I want you to try just some of this stuff. If you can just take out the bread and replace it with nuts or little uh, crackers that are not heated, um, dehydrated crackers if you can get. I know they're quite pricey, so possibly look at getting your own dehydrator and um, flax seeds. If you soak flax seeds, they make these sleazy, um, juicy liquid and anything you put in that sleazy juicy liquid such as sunflower seeds which you can sprout before so they're actually live and activated or wheat grass just sprouts um, you can layer it up in this little uh, patty of liquid produced by the flax seeds as well as chia seeds they also make the sleazy stuff around them and if you dehydrate that uh, that sleazy stuff will dehydrate the wall of water and the sleazy stuff will act as a glue to bind all the little sprouted um, wheat kernels and sunflower seeds and um, whatever else you put put on there sesame seeds so you can make little seed crackers that you can put now ava on and uh, uh, use them as a bread substitute I know it's quite a lot to take on and all in one go but I want you to give it a try um, guarantee you will avoid 3,000 diseases that are present in our modern society. It's not the diet that is proclaimed by the mainstream because the mainstream owns the pharmaceuticals and they want to sell you lots of pills. They want you sick and dead, literally. <laughs> First, very sick for many years and then dead. Uh, actually, they don't want you dead. They just want you sick. <laughs> so they can sell you lots of pills. But um, so you're not going to get, you're going to get a lot of resistance. If you're going to go to the doctors, they're going to think I'm absolutely mad. This guy has healed over 100,000 people. They're, they're, they're literally so sick. They, uh, they, everybody's given up on them. And they come absolutely 100% right without any medication just by changing their diet. Um, so no eating after three. Uh, green juice at about uh, two thirty, just at the end of the day. Have a nice green juice, or if you have to have a smoothie, you could have it then. But a, a good juice, uh, uh, good lunch with lots of fish. Um, nice filling lunch, lots of raw, lots of fish uh, at about one o'clock, twelve to one. And then obviously you can have two breakfasts. You can start eating at about six o'clock in the morning with some nuts and fruits. Uh, um, yeah, but look, I'm not going to elaborate too much for the sake of not keeping this video too long. Um, I will be posting the link to his website. Possibly you could get the book translated through Google Docs because he does sell a PDF. But it's absolutely crucial. I believe you're going to heal. I know. <laughs> I know you're going to heal yourself from whatever you issues you have. And you're going to add another 50 to 70 years to your life like this i know it sounds crazy like i'm lost it completely but i want you to give it a try no salt no sugar no bread uh, no heated food about 42 degrees um, obviously um, as i am i'm in a transition stage so start wherever you can lots of salads lots of raw lots of sprouts lots of anything you can plant in the ground that it'll grow that's what you want to eat in essence you want to eat living living food alive food that that's what you want to be eating so i'm going to be leaving you with that for now and if you've got any comments uh, please post them below um i'll post a link to the alface uh, site it, it is available available in english and you can get the book translated if it's not available in english using google docs get a get a get a pdf it's in russian um, the guy healed himself um, completely um, from what he had and he was stuck in the middle of taiga <laughs> forest and he cracked his back and he couldn't move and the only thing he had was a fish that he could catch and berries um, cranberries and whatever fresh berries he could find and some leaves and from literally not being able to move he healed himself with that and cold water make sure you have a cold shower you jump into cold water when you have a cold you jump into cold water your whole body starts to self-regenerate super fast cold water is key so if you're having a hot shower at the end of the hot shower turn over to cold fully cold not lukewarm fully cold and you just stand in there 15 seconds all around under here all around your back back of your legs front make sure you jump into cold water at least once a day it is crucial he healed himself with raw berries and leaves and <laughs> i don't even think he cooked fish but uh um he cooked a good quality fish and 
ice cold water that's what's going to do the healing for you try it out see if it works and i'll post a link to your site until then namaste